Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's another Tech Sharing Monday or Tech Sharing Tuesday in my time because I'm based in Sydney. My name is Jefferson Howe. I'm a team lead sales engineer for Okta, and I'm here to share some additional tech findings I've found uh, over the last few hours. So apparently, uh, the use case is a bit uh, unique because uh, this came from a colleague of mine in headquarters, and they were asking, like, how can we leverage Salesforce as uh, the MFA provider. So apparently Salesforce currently has a Salesforce Authenticator app. And this Salesforce Authenticator app supports uh, the capability to provide MFA capabilities over Salesforce users or Salesforce applications. Uh, it allows you to use the Salesforce Authenticator app that again, that allows six digit OTP or a push notification similar to Okta Verify, which is Okta's own authenticator app. So how would that look like is something similar to this. I already have downloaded it. I'm using Google Android, or sorry, an Android device. So I already have open Salesforce authenticator. And this is how it would look like. As you can see, it supports multiple accounts. You can add account. Uh, the, the good thing with, uh, or something unique uh, with Salesforce when you're adding account, it actually generates uh, two words, two words or a, two, uh, two, uh, a phrase of two words. Then you use that as the enrollment which is something uh, unique, which I found out during this tech sharing session. So rather than actually uh, talking more about it, let's see first how it looks like from an end user perspective. And, uh, and I'll show how that, that tied up in the back end. So let me share my screen. So first of all, uh, you would need to do the regist MFA registration on the device uh, first, right? Because that's how you would actually be able to use the, the push, notifica push notification MFA capability of Salesforce uh, once a device, the once the end user's device has been already enrolled. Uh, given that I didn't have much time to do the enrollment in a programmatic manner, I'll just go with uh, in a manual approach. And the manual approach is just logging on to Salesforce as a standard user. So here I have my Salesforce app, uh, Salesforce itself federated with the custom domain and I have connected Okta as the IDP. So if I want users to log in, they need to click Okta OIDC. From here, they get challenged with the uh, Okta uh, as the authentication provider. So I'm using a test account, which is Manish, who's my colleague in the US or from headquarters. I'm logging in with a test account. As you can see, this authentication flow is purely done by Okta. Once the user has already, let's say, able to access Salesforce, uh, the first thing you want to do is do that MFA enrollment process to your device. How, how you do that is actually go to your settings page in Salesforce, which is this one. Then you go to advanced user details. Then you should be able to see that we zoom that part, uh, this part, app registration, Salesforce authenticator. So if I click connect, this should allow me uh, to connect, but I have uh, just a email verification. That's why I'm being challenged first for e uh, verification. So right now I have Mailinator, who's my test account. I'll copy the verification code first, then paste it, then click verify. Then once that's done, as you can see, this is the part where in Salesforce actually ask you what's the two letter word uh, that the, this dev the, your, your device would auto generate using their own app. So maybe I'll stop sharing for now. And I'll show you how would that look like. So I'll click in Salesforce, I'll click add account. And automatically, look, there's uh, two words. It's terrific second. So I'll key in these two words. So I'll go back to my screen. So the word was terrific second. So if I click connect, Stop share. As you can see, it will share that. Uh, it will before I do the connection, it will say that check your mobile device. It's now shaking, right? So if I go click here, now I see it's already linking my account. And if I click connect, that links my account, uh, my device to the account. And from there, automatically, uh, this device is now enrolled as the MFA, uh, the uh, the device for the MFA factor for Salesforce. So, so how do we test that, right? So I created actually a Visual Force page, which is a simple one like this one. It just says that this is your Salesforce page, which will trigger uh, MFA. So I created uh, my own code. So if I actually refresh this one, 
you will be able to see that the MFA status is not yet verified because we haven't initiated anything yet. So if I actually trigger uh, this button by clicking this, this will trigger a push notification. So if I click this one, this is now triggering a push. Oh, as you can see, that's a push. And if I click approve, the status now will change. The MFA ch challenge successful. Same thing all over again, rather than uh, I'll stop sharing. What, what I'll do is I'll click the deny button. So you can see that the web page should reflect the deny result as well. So if I stop sharing, I, I'll click again the call SFDC MFA button. This is how the push notification would look like for Salesforce. I think I didn't click it. Say click. Yep. So it will say who's the user, the service, what's my browser, and again, my address, right? So if I click deny, sorry, deny, see, it also shows what can I do. I'll just uh, just block activity. So that's done. So if I go back to my screen, it should show MFA challenge not successful. So how did that look like in the back end, right? So that's the next question that you might ask. So I'll now show how, was, how I did that using the Salesforce Visual Force pages and Apex classes. So let's go first with the Visual Force page. So this is now me logging in as a system admin. As you can see, I created a custom Visual Force page called SFDC MFA page. It's actually simple. Uh, we're in, I have a code, <laughs> which is just doing an action and it's just polling for the MFA outcome, right? And this Visual Force page is tied back to an Apex class, which is uh, the SFDC MFA Apex class. So if I click edit, the code is actually simple again. We're in first, we're just setting a variable, which is the outcome result. So I'm initializing it as not yet verified to start. Then if you want, you click the call SFDC MFA button. It calls this function called fetch data. This is the code that uh, initiates the, the challenge. Then to get the polling mechanism, you'll have to uh, call this second function. So as you can see, it's gonna uh, return whatever is the uh, result from polling result to the rest, uh, this variable, which is the odd verification rest variable. Then until the message is not, is still equal to progress, wherein we're still waiting for a response. What we'll do is I'm printing uh, the result and also continuing polling the the service until this changes to an accepted or deny then what we'll do is that if it's accepted we can now check for rest.success variable and if it's true meaning that challenge is successful else challenge is not success, successful then we can now return back to the page and that's how simple it is you can connect salesforce msa with your visual force page app which which is federated to okta I hope you find this uh, tech sharing session useful, education, and uh, I'll share over the documentation links uh, as part of the my post. And uh, yeah, if you have any requests, feel free to email me at jefferson.how.com and I'll, I'll try to see what I can do for the next tech sharing session. Uh, thank you again. And, uh, and in this session, just a summary, this is how you would integrate uh, Okta with Salesforce as we're in Okta is the identity provider and authentication provider for Salesforce app, but using Salesforce MFA capability, which is the Salesforce authenticator app to verify users for two-factor or multi-factor. And that's it. And take care always and see you to the see you in the next tech sharing session.